fans and welcome to Stomping Ground Studios in Jacksonville, Florida for this week's edition of Continental Championship Wrestling Superstars of the Ring. My name is Jimmy Rosendorf and I'm so excited to finally announce that after weeks of hype and anticipation, it is finally here. The eight-man Television Collective Bounty Championship Tournament gets underway tonight with two first-round matchups. Later tonight, we'll see doesn't want to be called Turncoat Chris Turner going one-on-one -on -one with the Dragon Sean Reddy. But first, in our opening matchup of this tournament, we have the violent gentleman Miles Blackwell taking on the Dragon Slayer. Who moves on to the second round? We'll find out tonight. Our first match of the tournament is scheduled for one fall with a three-minute time limit. Introducing first, about to make his way to the ring. This is the Dragon Slayer! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the Dragon Slayer! Representing the Feminine Exchange, all the way from England, the Sins, the Violent Gentleman, Miles Blackwell! Continental Championship Wrestling Superstars of the Ring. We have a first round matchup here for the Television Collective Bounty Championship as the violent gentleman Miles Blackwell goes one on one against the Dragon Slayer. All right, and Jimmy, as you said, Miles Blackwell against the Dragon Slayer. <clears throat> Miles Blackwell not been pinned to the mat yet. Maybe the Dragon Slayer can get it done. Of course, we have no idea who's under that mask, Jimmy. No, he hasn't had a ton of success in CCW trying to get things turned around, but can't have much success when you can't see it. Miles Blackwell just already taking it to the Dragon Slayer here in the corner. One of the most vicious vile men in CCW showing that mean streak here in the early moments. And people may be wondering, with a record as bad as the Dragon Slayer, oh! with a record as bad as the Dragon Slayer's, why he's in the tournament. It's real simple, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We threw out the record book. Any man that put in the $500 entry fee got Oh my God! That might be lights out for the Dragon Slayer. Sorry to cut you off, Donnie. No, Jimmy. As I was saying, any man that paid the $500 oh, this fee... Is oh! The Dragon Slayer. That is a symphony of violence. That is going to be it. Miles Blackwell moves and on to the second round. that is all she wrote, Jimmy. But as my colleague Donnie Harris was trying to say, this championship isn't about the win-loss record. It's all about the money. <laughs> Miles Blackwell making quick work of the Dragon Slayer and punching his ticket to the second round of the Continental Championship Wrestling Television Collect the Bounty Championship Tournament. The violent gentleman Miles Blackwell making very short work of the Dragon Slayer in the opening round, punching his ticket to the second round of the Television Collective Bounty Championship Tournament, where he'll go on to face the winner of our next match tonight. He does not want to be called Turncoat Chris Turner, going one-on-one -on -one with the Dragon, Sean Reddy. Introducing first, the man that many are calling a Turncoat. This is Chris Turner! And 
and his opponents. Please welcome the martial artist, the dragon, Sean Ray! Let's fly, present to you, the Dragon Sean Reddy! The Dragon Sean Reddy is one of the newest members here in the Continental Championship Wrestling roster, one of the latest graduates at the Top Rope Wrestling Academy, so we know he has a good, strong foundation, but he's going to have a tough test here against, well, the turncoat Chris Turner, one of the longest tenured and most accomplished wrestlers in CCW. Turncoat was sure to whisper to me there in the ring, Jimmy, that he does not want to be called Turncoat anymore. Before we go any farther, why don't y'all shut up and quit calling me Turncoat Turner? I got a name. Thank you. Chris Turner, of course. Well, if the me recently on Superstars of the Ring. Well, if the jacket fits. <clears throat> Jimmy, a great chance for re a great chance for revenge by the Dragon Sean Reddy. Of course, everyone remembers what Chris Turner did at our last taping to the Dragon. His chance to get revenge here in the first rounds of the Collect the Bounty Tournament. And Chris Turner saying that Sean Reddy pulled his hair. He doesn't have too much hair left to pull at this stage. But I'm, I'm kind of surprised early in the moments that the inexperienced Sean Reddy is dictating the pace of the match. Maybe experience, not too much experience in the ring, but he has accomplished martial artists, been in many types of contests taekwondo kickboxing the likes and he can apply those moves here in a ring in ccw and chris turner a little bit of a disadvantage because he's never faced anyone quite like that in his tenured career here in ccw we have a color able to tie up here and this time is chris turner pushing the dragon back into the corner doesn't have quite the clean break that dragon did and we have a <laughs> arm dragon Quickly, Chris Turner is getting out of the ring. Oh, come on. Chris Turner used to be one of the nicest guys around. Now he's just a menace to everybody he comes across. Since losing the since losing the tag titles at WrestleBash and what he did to Landon Cruz at WrestleBash, the man has been a darker shell of his former self. No one here at CCW likes him. Mike Anthony and Cody Knight have both said they want to get their hands on him. Of course... You know, Landon Cruz probably first in that long line of people that want to strangle Chris Turner. Hey, hey, get him back, get him back. Oh, come on, Chris. We came here to see a wrestling match, not to see you parade around and make a mockery of this contest and of this tournament. Don't believe anything coming out of that man's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Sean Reddy, nothing but a class act here in CCW. He will apply by all the rules. Oh, we're talking about applying by the rules. Chris Turner definitely did not do that. Going to the eye, and now he has gained control of this match. Sending Sean Reddy over for a... Oh, double stomp. That'll drive all the air right out of Sean Reddy's lungs. Yes, Sean Reddy coming up. Oh, about 40 pounds. Yeah, here. Nearly moved on to the second round of the Collective Mountain Championship Tournament. Giving up about 40 pounds to Chris Turner. So every time Chris Turner lands on that chest, Sean Reddy feels it. And continuing to drive the air out of Sean Reddy, choking him on the top rope. This is their tactic you're not used to seeing out of rock and roll, the turncoat, whatever you want to call him, Chris Turner. Well, if a man can't breathe, he can't fight. <clears throat> Dirty tactics by Chris oh. Turner, but they, oh, they are effective. And we talk about the experience. Chris Turner is using that right now, knowing how to use every square inch of this ring. Once again with that knee right there on the chest of the train. Boot to the head there. And again, going back to the top rope, choking the life out of Sean Reddy, who had a good start to this match, but ever since the thumb to the eye, if you can't see, you can't wrestle. If you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. Chris Turner doing everything he can now to control the pace of this match. Vicious fist to the top of the head there. And this is just the ring generalship of Chris Turner tying up. Tying Sean Reddy into those corners. Fixing these all his way. Oh, look at Sean Reddy fly through there like the dragon he is. Taking out Chris Turner. Could we have a, could we be going to the second round? Two. No, Chris Turner nearly shocked by the Dragon Sean Reddy. You had to consider that an upset despite Sean Reddy's skills. Sean Reddy using that speed advantage he has. You know, Chris Turner a little more weathered, the heavier man, and also beaten down by all the matches he's had in the ring. So Sean Reddy needs to use that quickness to his advantage. And he was doing just that. <clears throat> oh! Outside the ring again. Ladies and gentlemen, we can assure you Sean Reddy did not put... Oh, no! Oh, it's this! 
It's Cobra Steve. We have not seen him in months here in CCW. We haven't seen him since Wrestle Bash when he lost to Cody Knight. Applying that deadly Cobra Clutch to Sean Reddy. Add that with the damage already been done by Chris Turner and Jimmy. I think the Dragon's done for. No, it's hard enough to go against somebody with the legacy of Chris Turner, but if you have somebody the size of Cobra Singh lurking in the background, viciously attacking the Dragon Sean Reddy, there's not much this young athlete can do. DDT drives him headfirst into the match. Jimmy, not it's like all this. over. Not like this. Turco uh, Chris Turner sometimes goes on I hate to the second job. round. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the second round, Chris Turner. Chris Turner has been a changed man here in recent weeks and months in CCW, but one thing has not changed, and that is him being a successful wrestler in the ring, and he moves on against a very valiant Dragon Sean Reddy. And we just saw turncoat Chris Turner, not without help from his new protege, Cobra Singh, punch his ticket to the second round of the Collective Bounty Championship Tournament with a win over a very valiant and game Dragon Sean Reddy. So now we know two people moving on to the second round in the Violent Gentleman, Miles Blackwell and Turncoat Chris Turner. But we still need to figure out the other half of the bracket. And that will be revealed next week when Cole Bohannon goes one on one with the metalhead Paul Roberts. And speaking of Diamond Exchange with Violent Gentleman, Miles Blackwell, his stablemate in the Diamond Exchange, Shooter McGee, one half of the CCW Tag Team Champions, will go one on one with my guest at this time. Mike Anthony. Mike, how are you doing tonight? I'm all right, man. I'm really excited for this tournament. I can tell you that. I put the $500 down. And I'm pretty confident I'm going to win the thing. I can tell you that right now. Shooter McGee and myself have this matchup coming up, and we've got some history, man. We've got, we've got a lot of back and forth with each other. It's been pretty evenly matched. But my sights are not only on that title and the money attached to it, my sights are getting my hands around the neck of Chris Turner. So I hope... I can get through to the next round and hope that I can get my hands on him as well as the goal. And we'll find out that out next week as Mike Anthony goes one-on-one -on -one with Shooter McGee. So much more action coming up in this tournament, as you said, and we're excited to finally find out who the first ever Collective Bounty Champion will be. But for Mike Anthony, my name is Jimmy Rosendorf. We'll see you next week.